in like in tournament. I think he was talking about the Fennekin guys. Okay, so we got Surf Spud versus SK Dale here. You know, I'm not. I'm actually okay with losing to Dale now because I would have had to do this. I didn't want to do this. I always love watching these two plays. Always a good set. It's weird. It's a weird set. <laughs> it's, a weird. it's always good. <laughs> okay. So I'm just kind of throwing stuff out. <laughs> Sorry, I saw something I thought was really funny. Oh, the release X under the ground didn't work out for SK Dale. Some bombs, such pools. Ooh, a nice 8X there. The, the so baby kicks. Not the baby kicks. SK Spud. All right, we got Scoobies. We got some Scoobies. We got some Astonishes. Man, who would have thought that the weakest ghost move in the game was so good? <laughs> Ooh. All right, all right. I think he was expecting a homing attack. Tried to pull Pro, I think, yeah. Oh, and that's it. The release X will take the round for SK Dale. That was pretty convincing from SK Dale. That's pretty quick. Well, I mean, this is Gengar. <laughs> Gengar gets blown out so easily. That's true. All right, going with the safety frog. Yo. Oh, a little too far away. You couldn't confirm that. Nice counter there by SK Dale. Oh. Oh, wow. Catching an power to high frame. <laughs> big damage. Oh, my gosh. Jesus. It only looks like it's big damage because it's Gengar. Nah, it's because it's Garchomp. It's because it's, yeah, it's, it's Garchomp. All right. Uh, uh. Yeah, you guys remember remember that meme? Uh, uh, uh. Sludge pool will lower Dale's attack. That will save Spud there. Those sludge bombs. Sludge pool save so much. Oh no. Up, up, up. And just going to that. Oh, he's cursing. Oh, he's trying to get his burst. He's trying to get his burst real quickly, yeah. But now. Dale's in burst. Safety frog's gonna help him out. <laughs> He's gonna give him enough time. Yo, safety frog is the safest thing in the game. I mean, unless you're Krogon. Then you can just you just foul play it and just create a good OP. Just create a good setup there. And the Umbreon will connect. Oh, smart. Save the shield from getting broken. Ooh, Dale tried to go for a 4X. Oh, and the jump X will connect. SK Dale takes the first game. Let's get it really in the mood right now. Let's see if that can continue or will Sir Spud just mow this over like he sometimes does if he loses <laughs> the first game. Revenge Spud is a thing not to be reckoned with. It's very scary. Yeah, you can't see A as laser. You can't see a Gengar's laser, can you? No, you can. Not the uh the one where it goes in the ground? Yeah, I think you can see it on. I don't remember ever being able to see that. All right. Nice homie attack there by Josh. Or SK Dale. Oh! Okay. Just, just Josh, just SK Dale proving he can just, he can work off any hit that he can, that he wants. Just any of them. <laughs> All right. SK Dale just going to town right now. Already having Gengar at 150 health right now. Scooby punches. We'll still catch that. Torpedo. All right. Tried to confirm it. Oh, the Shadow Ball almost confirmed that completely for him. Oh, Shadow Ball connects. I thought Dale connected that. Just stuffing him at the last second. Oh, yeah. Oh, homing attack. Not barely connecting. Counter doesn't crit. Ooh, and a punish. Ooh, oh, he, got greedy. he called it. He got greedy. Should have just confirmed it. He may not have a re release X at the ready, though. So he might have had to go for that. Yeah, he probably did. All right. Oh. Nice confirm. Had to go into the torpedo, and Dale was expecting it. So it is, it is a match point for SK Dale right now. Spud having to work. Spud really gonna have to work here to stay in the to stay in uh, winners. This is one of the most convincing leads I've ever seen. This oh yeah. See if he can do anything over time. I think I remember Dale has beaten Spud once, once or twice lately, recently. I believe so. Yeah. It was yeah. It was in our um, 
he was in our memoir. I think I think he did end up winning against Spud at one point. Yeah, he took a monthly after the Spud win. Oh, did he? Okay. Skull Dale. All right. Uh, Astonished, barely not connecting. Nice counter there by Gengar. Shadow Ball. Ooh, gets that mix up. I hate that mix up. I hate so that 50 50. I hate it. Now, like, in here reverse is looking like scary. I practiced that for two days and I still couldn't get it. It's such a cool looking 50 50. Alright. Nice call up there by Gengar. Vice or Spud on that Weavile. Making him think that he was going to go for it. Go for that 50 50 grab. I think that was a good call on both players' parts. On SKD, oh, here comes the big damage. Well, that's going to do so much. Oh my gosh. Raise guard chomp is nuts. And the question is, will... Ooh, I was just about to say, does Spud want to, like, go into burst and try and just take the... Just survive, mm -hmm. but Spud was able to pull through. Just, he had to ooh. take a little risk there. Yeah, yeah, that was, that was a risk because Torpedo is unsafe in the air. Because I think you have enough time to punish when by the time they land on the ground. I call it the torpedo. All right, Scooby can, Scooby punches will not get will not connect, but he will cancel out of them to not get punished for it. I think Scooby is like one of the like. It's a, probably one of the most odd moves that he has because you think you can punish it, but you never do. Nice curse there. Oh, he did that. Now he has synergy again. He does have synergy again. All right, reactions, burst reactions. Oh, I, I think he probably would have had time to burst, and even if it didn't get the animation, he probably would have gotten all the other hits. Maybe so, yeah. On the, Maybe at the very end of the spin dash. Yeah. I think that does have a lot of iframes on it though. Because he barely hits a shield at that distance. All right, so oh my. What a chance! What? How did that astonish not connect? That he hit the ear. Okay then. Alright, Spud's... Oh, nice Shadow Punch there to cancel the phase shift and get the phase shift. Oh my gosh! That would have been so much damage. That would have been insane. Oh, oh Spud's... Spud's heart is probably pounding out of his chest right now. He's not going to kill. And we'll cause the phase shift. But he has lost the lead here. Calls He's the Umbreon. Nice Umbreon call. Kill some time too. Spud have to be really aggressive now. Oh, nice grab there by Spud. He will heal Is back. That That's enough. That's oh, enough. Just, oh, he my heart would be pounding out of my chest right now. That was insane. <laughs> Saving himself from the two. Oh, was that really was really nice to have that. That was. That was close. <laughs> I mean, not as close as Spud versus Paper there at that ending part. Did you see that? That was yeah, insane. That was, that was nuts. That was nuts. <laughs> Very good job there by Spud, though. Actually, like now that I think about it, that take throw was scary because if he jumps, Gengar is homing, like, homing two is tall enough to hit you yeah. out of the air like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that was super risky. And I think I think the thing is, is that Dale might have been thinking he was just going to go for the grab after the first hit because Spud is really good at that. He's really good at just hitting you once with a homing attack and then grabbing. Like, he's super good at that. I forgot the name of it. There's a name for it and it's escaping me. But. He's, Spud is really good at it. Right. Again, those tick throws. Tick throw? Mean? Tick throw, okay. Oh, there's like a million different names for it. There's a million different names for like everything in Vulcan. Alright, we're getting into game three here. Alright. Right, just throwing stuff out back wide. We'll keep him away. It's such a weird like area. His counter is like the shortest counter in the game. Nice grab. Starting off early, getting these grabs, getting these synergy oh, yeah. up too. Oh yeah, and I think he runs Whimsical as well, so he may have gotten a little bit off that. All right, Astonish does get countered, but he will go in for the for the kick at the end. Just keeping those sludge pools relevant. He does get hit by one. Astonish connects. Already having SK Dale at half his health right now. All that will connect. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, his eye frames. Now Dale's, Dale's really gonna have to work on that right now. He is. He has not been hitting those. Uh, he's not been hitting those um, release X's in the air as much. Right. It might be something to do with his controller. It might just be something to do with like 
the tense feeling of playing like this. Nice! Dig. dig is bad, folks. Dig is bad. Dig is bad. Oh, and the Shadow Ball connects. Couldn't react in time. All right. Oh, unfortunately, no, nothing happens. Spud. Nothing happens for Spud. If he would have gotten at least 30% on his synergy, it would have worked. It would have worked out for him. Right. Because I think you get a max of 40 on Whimsical. Yeah, that sounds right. 30 or 40. I don't use Whimsical. So I, don't know. <laughs> I started using Whimsical with Kroga. All That's right. Good. Trying to get in, but Sir Spud is not letting him. It was a good idea because he does go under all those sludge pools with Pig. But I don't remember if he can get through any much else. Much else that Gengar has. Because he's just getting up at the wrong time right now. That's a that was weird looking. That's a that, that's a hitbox. Spud's still sitting at all of his health left. Yeah, Spud Dale is really at, defensive now. Dale is just having to live through all of these just attack debuffs. Getting some damage on the board though. Start start of a start of a good comeback. Start of a good comeback. He's got to get past this Mega Gengar, though. Oh, he, you know, he almost did. Yeah, now, right now, Spud does have an attack buff with that Eevee. I just realized, yeah, he does. he's using Eevee now. That's <laughs> three in a row. <laughs> My Shady. Spud is not being able to jump. Spud, yeah. Dale is just keeping him. Oh. Yep, not wanting to waste his shield. It probably would have been better if he did. Oh, he jumped it! Oh, wow. But he will be able to. Okay, nice Umbreon call there, trying to get out of the way. Oh, the six X, six X not connecting. Oh my gosh, the comeback. Am I gonna call the comeback? All right, he does get the counter, but he doesn't get the crit though. Oh, he jumps the dragon claw. Dig! Oh, the combo time! Is Dig bad now? Yes. Bill says Dig is still bad, but he makes that one work. I guess the final round. His final round. Well, Alistair's dreams come true. And we'll Spud get knocked into losers. And he does. He is able to counter through that Shadow Sneak. Ooh, love that. That CADC grab off another CADC. Spud is just so good at that because of the quick iframes that Gengar has with that. Nice Shadow Sneak there. Getting more damage in. Oh, counter works. Oh, the overhead doesn't work. Ugh. All right, for the curse. Oh, you got the corner switch now, too. Oh, yeah. Now Spud is sitting on burst right now. SK Dale really hurting right now. He's not being able to get his burst yet so far. Bad position, sitting in the corner. He just needs to, if he's able to get Spud into dual, into field phase and just win one, that's all he needs. Spud is just playing the projectile game right now. Oh! Okay, so he's now into field phase. If he can just win this field phase, he will have his burst and he will be able to work off of it more and fight against it. Can fight against that. Oh, here nice homing attack there. He does win the field phase. All right, both characters have their burst now. And it's a burst fight to the end here, guys. Because I don't think any burst is going to be ending here by the time the timer goes out. Oh, it, Tornadoes don't connect all. Oh, and time. the Shadow Ball catches the dig on the getup. Really good set there from both players. Really players. close set, too. Both players doing a fantastic job, but Spud was just able to make that comeback from that round, like...